All right, so I was just about to come around the side here and video something under my hood, but I wanted to teach this too. Does everybody know what this means when you see a hood up? When you see a driver with his hood up, you know what that means? Well, I'll tell you. A friend of mine, I just had met him the other day, a couple months back. Well, he was at a truck stop, he had his hood up, and hanging off of his mirror right here on the driver's side, he had jumper cables hanging down. That meant he needed a jump. Okay, that's what the old timers used to do. That's an old school way of telling us you need a jump. And he said nobody stopped and asked him if he needed help that day. He wound up getting a truck there before he could, and it cost him a lot for a jump. So see, a hood means something. It means you ought to say, hey driver, you all right? You got help coming like you do on the radio or you should have a radio and you should do that if you see somebody on the side of the road. But then, you know, if you're in a parking lot, you ask him, you say, well, you know, yeah, holler at the window. Slow down, holler at the window, you know, come to stop, holler at the window and say, hey driver, you got all the tools you need? You got everything? Because he's working on it. He might need a hand. You might give him a hand and he might teach you something just like I just did. Because a hood up means something. Yeah, you do a pre-trip with your hood up. He was doing a pre-trip and I talked to him. I stopped by, I said, hey driver, you all right? You got all the tools you need? Because I got tools. He said, you know what? He said, you're the first person to ask me that. And I've been out here 30 minutes and the other day nobody asked me nothing on jumper cables. He said, I appreciate it. I handed him a card to my channel. I said, I'm trying to teach the right way. So we're gonna come around the corner with that. I hope that taught you something, but I'm fixing to teach you something different. This is what this video is about right here keeping this stuff from freezing. Now how are you gonna do that? Let's say you've already got some in here and it's come up winter time or you've moved into a different part of the country that's freezing. Below 32 people, 32 degrees is that magic number. You know, not 35 even. It, you know, you wanna keep it right at 35 because that night it'll freeze and you could bust your fill. They say, you know, oh, the engine should heat it. No, not when it's blocked up over here. You know what I'm saying? Not when it's over here. And then whenever it comes out the top there, it's, you know, blown out the top. It, it'll get all freezed up and you won't get anything out of that. Little bitty tube right there in that hose, that'll freeze as soon as it gets liquid in it, you know? And uh, so what do you do? Well, I'm gonna show you what you do. My reservoir has two gallons in it and that's pretty well full. Okay, two gallons to take it up to here. Just call that two gallons. So, that stuff didn't have any kind of antifreeze element to it. Okay, this stuff here was good down to freezing. They say down to, uh, you know, 32 or whatever. 32 is freezing. So, what do you do? Well, I'll show you. This right here, rubbing alcohol, okay. It could be 70%, 90%. Some people say use 90% only. Some people say use denatured alcohol. This is probably, this, you know, this is just regular old brand, um, just average. And then any, any brand will work. And then you uh, take a magic marker. You know those things that everybody's writing on bathroom stalls with? Uh-huh, well, they're good for something else. If you're a mechanic, you'll love these things. So buy your mechanic sharpies they'll like them now let's check this out you make a mark on the side of this bottle about halfway which is right right about here doesn't matter and really this one's three-quarter full so I'm gonna mark where it where it is right now while it's level okay so that's what I used it to so I guess I'm cutting it into thirds at this point but if you've got one gallon of regular this is not regular, but one gallon of regular washer fluid, okay? These are my winter blades, it's gonna show that too. Uh, one gallon of regular washer fluid right here, you're gonna fill it up with one half. Half. That line right there, half for one gallon. If you put a quarter in there, it'll help if that's all you got, okay? But you really need half to keep it from definitely freezing. All right, but for this right here being th three quarters right here, and there's two of these in that reservoir basically 
I'm gonna take most of this and dump it in there and keep a little bit just for medical use or whatever I might need it for. Cleaning the windshield with a rag. This is good for, once you clean the bugs off your windshield and clean with Windex, clean with alcohol, you'll see a difference. And clean the inside with alcohol. And they've got a new, uh, like if you ride motorcycles, you'll know that they got helmets that have anti-fog. Rain-X now has an anti-fog that you can put on the inside of your windshield. I recommend putting it on the passenger side and trying it out first so that you know you wiped it off right. And I don't use Rain-X washer fluid just because it's too much on there. It'll it'll coat on top of the bugs or whatever and then it will uh, it'll just be horrible in the rain. Okay, use I use Rain-X only I first clean with some Windex and then uh, well I had a bottle of Windex in here. Yeah, first I clean it with Windex then I clean it with alcohol then I put the Rain-X on and then I take it off real good. Make sure you get it all the way off with paper towels. Just cheap roll paper towels, nothing to it. So, having said that, this right here, okay, they don't sell it in some places because they don't, they don't believe in it or like it, okay? Good to minus 25. You see that, minus 25? That's cold now. <laughs> You ain't gonna be minus 25. If you are, you could add some more alcohol to it, about a quarter of this at that point, just a quarter, just that top mark. But you ain't gonna be minus 25. But I use this in the winter, any kind that's good to, you know, even minus 20. Minus 20 is great stuff. You know, most times I'm just minus five or minus 15, if that. And a lot of times when they call it, it's just a wind chill anyways. I have been doing some fracking out there, North Dakota, out in West Texas, but North Dakota gets real cold, but I've never had a problem with it freezing. Okay, so having said that, this is what I buy, is the minus 25 for the winter time and just do it like that. But I've got something that I'm just gonna show the old way of fixing what you already have so it don't freeze before you get this stuff. Or if all they have left is the regular kind, winterize it with alcohol. One half of this is one gallon. The whole thing is two gallons, which I have already up here in this reservoir. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do just so it'll mix good. Well, I really put that cap on there that time, didn't I? Superman. <laughs> so here's what I got. Basically, I could put the whole thing. I'm going to slack off on some of it. I'm going to leave a little at the bottom just for my own use case I need till I can buy some more I had a very tiny hole in the top so might want to make that a little bit bigger contrary to popular belief you don't necessarily want to use alcohol in a big wound because it stops you from healing yes it kills germs you want to use something like a wound cleanser like a maybe even peroxide before you go to alcohol and on big wounds. Small wounds, you're good, okay? Small cuts, right with alcohol, you're good. Just don't forget if you have a tetanus shot. <laughs> so, lately, that's, yeah, I'm gonna give it a little bit more. I'm just wanting to save some. I've got another one in the back. I've, I keep a medic bag, I keep all kinds of stuff, so. Let's see, I'll, I'll just leave that for myself right there. So, here's the thing. This is not gonna freeze. I could probably put a quarter in this stuff. It's not gonna freeze, not with alcohol. But just to make sure it mixes good and to top it off, because usually I say, give a little shake to the gallon. You give it a little shake. You know, once you put it in this thing here, once once you uh, take regular flu uh, washer fluid and add some alcohol into it, turn it upside down a couple times just to mix it good. So since we're not getting any mixing effect for this, I'm just topping off my fluid. I topped it off the other day. It ain't gonna take much. Gotta let the air go down, but I guarantee you this thing overflowed the other day and I just been using it like crazy. So, I hope that was helpful for you guys out there that cannot find, cause you might be in a certain place that don't sell the stuff that's good below zero, or you might be in a place that they're sold out. Truck stops sell out. So, how far am I gonna go with it? I'm gonna tell you how far I'll go with it. This right here is basically food coloring, if you call it that, and just some, it's just so you can see it's not drinkable. That blue stuff does nothing for nothing. Windex itself is just ammonia. You can add ammonia to whatever. You can take a bottle of this Windex right here, and you can add water to it, 
and it'll clean okay because it's got a high amount of ammonia it's nothing wrong with running it pure but it'll bubble up some so you can uh wash your i use just a wash i don't put that in there but basically you could take full-on water straight water and add alcohol to it one half of a bottle of alcohol for each gallon that you got and that's washer fluid so it's all in what you want to do you can take one of these containers and go up to the fuel aisle open the cap up put it in the bucket and actually take the washer fluid that they've made for you and put the cap on it and refill your washer fluid if you just that broken ain't got it there's all kinds of ways to clean your windshield there's no reason for you not to be able to see in the winter time see in the summertime you know it's a little cooler to try to do this on a warm day but i'm gonna tell you something these right here these are good okay these are called winter blades because they're solid the ones i have up there have holes in them where ice can form this just basically stops ice from forming but you don't want to these are expensive compared to the regular ones you don't want to use these all year round and you don't want to put them on too early and wear them out because the squeegee on them you know wear out and then you know you got to replace them with another expensive set i could use probably one of these for even two seasons two years take them off when when it's not bad weather put them back on clean them with alcohol you know alcohol people alcohol so that's what they give you when you buy new wipers anyhow is a little pad it's got alcohol in it that's the magic stuff in there alcohol okay so what i was showing the soap for is you could take a bin like this and this soap fill it up with a wash with a wash rag and, and soap you know and and fill about halfway you know this dawn works good and pre-clean your windshield before you use windex and it'll save on your windex and this is 99 cent and you're using a few drops of it or however much you want and i use microfiber towels now but you could use an old washcloth you know and then just the cheapest paper towels they got three packs they used to sell at walmart i buy them now for at the dollar store for 89 cent they start out a little bit smaller but whatever easier to manage so it's all in what you want to do i'm just trying to teach some stuff here but there's no reason that you can't have winterized washer fluid even if you can't find it we've been doing this for years it's tried and true that's it and i'm out Keep it full, y'all. Keep it full, okay? And keep spare water on deck. If it's under your bunk, in the side boxes, it's not gonna freeze. It'll be fine. If you're really worried about it, go ahead and make some up with some washer fluid. Don't add the soap to your box. Just Windex and this and this. But that's good in a pinch with a rag in a real bad winter situation. And uh, then if it's uh, freezing rain, you want to use your winter front. Only if it's freezing rain, so it don't fill up your grill and stop you from getting air. So that's leading into a different subject, but hey, buy you some of this, and you won't have to do all that. You know, that's it. I'm out. Y'all stay safe. Peace. Funny thing is, I thought I was out. <laughs> now I got my glove off. Y'all, be safe. Peace.